So it's been raining every day here in the Bahamas and thundering and lightning. So we're kind of just stuck. Can't go anywhere, can't do anything. We're just waiting for an intermission. I'm Lauren. That's Rob. And this is our life, living on the water. We've been living in the Bahamas for the last six months. Stay tuned for what's coming next. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. It finally stopped raining. It looks like the sunshine is coming. When the stormy weather had finally calmed down, we decided to pull up anchor and sail more north to Treasure Key. We know that we'll be making the crossing back over to the U.S. soon, so we really wanted to make it a priority to get the bottom of our boat cleaned and free of sea life and barnacles that were building up on the bottom. It's important to clean the bottom of your boat. Barnacle and sea life buildup can cause a boat to be slowed or it can overheat the engine and block intakes, all resulting in excessive fuel consumption and damage. Treasure Key to sail only four miles north. We ran aground. Oops. We left Treasure Key. We wanted to sail more north to No Name Key and then Turtle Key. Right ahead of us is No Name Key. And straight ahead is Turtle Key. Yay, we're moving. So we finally made it to a pig beach. We sailed four miles north to No Name Key. This is another pig beach in the Abacos. Pet that We've one. We've had a rough day. I should pet that one. Let's go bite you. He's sleeping. I don't want to disturb him. We are officially leaving the Bahamas. So we have checked out of the Bahamas. We checked out last night. It was a perfect weather window for us to leave. It's the weekend where Rob doesn't have to work. He's able to focus on sailing. We originally planned on leaving in June, but 
we weren't sure if we were gonna have this good of a weather window in the next couple weeks, so we decided to go for it. So we checked out at Spanish Key, and then we were able to fill up on fuel. So we're sailing back to Cape Canaveral. So it's about 140 miles from where we started back in Spanish Key. So the weather is pretty good. The waves are behind us. So we got our spinnaker out. We're averaging five and a half knots. So not too bad. Some people are really sleepy. Zoro. Nothing. Lauren. Nothing. Callie's awake. You having fun? As we entered into Florida water, we took down our Bahamas flag. Then we put up our yellow flag, which flown alone indicates the absence of disease and signifies a request for customs clearance. Back in America. We can see land. 